Welcome back everyone. Welcome back to our everyday living. I've got a problem with a Fisher and Paykel dryer. Uh, not sure on the size. I think it's only... Ooh, what are we? What are we? Here we go. In the door. Got to get the specs on. I can't see. Blind as a bat. Blind as a bat. I think it's a... I know it's fish and pile. Oh, it's a five kilo. There we go. Um, yeah, where it's not starting, that sort of thing. I know what the problem is. Do you? So let's dive into it and find out what the actual problem is. I'll show you what it does, that sort of thing, before I get the parts and all that sort of thing. Uh, it might only take mm, 15, 20 minutes to replace. I've got a cord to replace. Uh, and probably one part. So maybe about 15 minutes, we'll see what happens and I'll show you what it does. Um, like when you close the door, I've got it turned on and plugged in at the moment. Um, where are we? Yeah, power, see it powers up. And then I've got it on regular. The wash machine's going off in the background and we'll start it. It's starting slow. I exactly know what that is. That is the capacitor that actually makes the motor start. The capacitor actually stores power to give it a boost. Uh, you can put too big of a cap capacitor in and you can actually burn your motor out. So you're best to replace the one that's in there with the same same number. Like it's a, like this one, I think it's a 7FU. Um, when you go 7 FU, you've got to make sure you've got the same voltage, all that sort of thing too. So let's dive into it, put it on its face and uh, tear the thing apart and replace some parts. Alright, let's dive into this, see what we're going to find. I've got a magnet handy for all the screws, pull them out. Because there is different size screws. So chuck the screws on the magnet, we'll be reusing those, these outer ones. What's that message? Oh, it's okay, it's only June. There we go. Get the whiz these out. I don't need to undo those two there because they're only holding on to that piece of plastic. They chopped the cord on this one, so I done a fix up on the cord and connected her up and see if we were going to be a goer. I thought, yeah, it's a goer. Yeah, that is there. Now we've got this one in the center. That's not a screw, it's a type of bolty screw. This one's the same. And then we've got the three across the top. Put them on the bench too. We've got a whole heap of aluminium mows there that I'm gonna get the aluminium out of. I've got to do a bit of an upgrade on our machine here. Make the, oops, make the blade a bit longer. I'm not getting deep enough. I've got to rotate them. So, have I got all the screws out? I certainly have. Give that a slide and a cross. We'll put that over there. Cover that mess up. Um, we've got to get the cord out too, so we'll do that at the same time. I think it's this screw here. Both screws, actually. We'll just sit those screws there. Right there. We might do the cord first. I reckon that's feasible. It's quite simple to replace the cord when you're doing a lot of scrapping. So simple these are. It's only push on connections. You just gotta make sure you're putting the right one on the right section. So we can put the old cord through, the new cord, I won't say the old cord, the new cord through first, so we know where we're going to be. Makes it a lot easier. That way you don't get your wires the wrong way, like you're active and you're neutral. Get 
those in there, poke them in. We are disconnected from the power. If anyone's wondering, I wouldn't do it otherwise. Safety first, safety first. Them to there. That one comes around to there, that can come off. Let's only get earth. That one slipped off anyway. Right, I got a vague, funny feeling these have got pins. I've got to get the old specs on and find out. Where do I throw them? Over here. Might have to get a screwdriver too. Do, 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 do. Uh, that one there will do. Just about lost the old specs. Get on there. Bear with me, everyone. Unprepared. Righty-o, tread on the cord, pull it all apart. Now, that one there, get the neutral off first, which is your brown. Blue is active. Oh, I reckon that's the way it goes. Correct me if I'm wrong, any of you Aussies. So we've got one off. This one's insulated too, so that's good. So we can just pop it straight on. Got a bit of heat sink, sh heat shrink over it. So it's not gonna short out on anything. Bonus. Put that there. Uh, blue one over there, which is your active. Pop it off. Now we can pull that cord out of the road. They're all disconnected, and we'll put the blue in where it belongs. That's how simple sometimes it is to actually put a cord in, but that's what I've done. You know, you're not supposed to, but it's just a test cord. That's all it is. I was planning to change the cord anyway. Let's poke this back into there. Give it some leeway. Not too much, it doesn't want too much. Well, it doesn't need too much, I should say. That's on there. Earth goes around onto yonder. That's a bit tight, that's a lot tighter than what the other was. Right, and we screw that down. Pull that through to there so it doesn't get onto those heating elements. Do him up. That's that. That'll be the cord replaced straight away. Oh, I may have been here. Yeah, we'll do that. Go around the back. Go around there. That'll tighten them up too. It will. Tighten the wires up so they're away from all the heating element. there give it a little bit of a torque down that's one give it the click right get down to the capacitor got a brand new one here grab the knife it's got the seven on it so we better see if we can pull the other one out first where is it? I've got to get some light. Got to use the phone for the light. Do 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 do. Chuck the glasses on and off here. It's a bit of a wind situation, unwind situation. Right here, it's down in there somewhere. I think that's it there. Oh, come off. Right here. Can I pluck the wires off? That's one wire. Can't see much myself. Get that old one out. There we go, pop him out. That's it there. Been in there for many years. Right, turn the torch off. The old lighty-ity. Cut her open. Good old eBay. Buy a lot of parts off of eBay. They cost a pretty penny, these things. There we go. Get the new one out of the box. This one, I think I ordered it as a bolt-on version. I did. 
there we go it doesn't matter whether they're a bolt on or a push in these have both sections you've got the square here and you've got a round up there and it's that these plates are interchangeable so they can be turned around whichever side uh, so i got it with the bolt because i didn't know i couldn't get this one with the um clippy piece so we got it with the bolt so we'll put this one back in gotta find the wires need our light back get our light back there we go find the wires We'll get that down there. Everyone may be able to see what I'm doing. May. Mm -hmm. oh, I can't get my hands in there. Oh, can I get my hands in there? Okay. That's better. Go to the end. Connect that one onto that. They're just a push-on connector. Like I said, they store power, and then they give that motor all of a sudden boost up to keep it going. Right. That's pushed on there. Then all we have to do is take the nut off and put it through the hole. All right, undo that nut. Put it in the hole in the top, and the other side, in this side, not the other side, because I want to be able to do it up. There, grab the washer, poke it in that hole. It's so simple to fix. Get a spanner. I ain't got one there. Little shifter there. Jack of all trades, master of none, please. You don't need to do them up very tight as long as they don't move. That's all that matters. I'm not going to vibrate loose, but that's good enough. Now let's put the back on. See what we've done. Turn our light off. Done, 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 done. Let's rock and roll. I told you it wouldn't take that long. Simple fix. Like this one would have went to scrap. I'm talking it would have went to scrap. Slide this under there. That one the same. Make sure you get your tube in line. I did get to when I found out the problem a fair while ago. Been waiting for parts and that sort of thing to come in the mail. Got to and cleaned all the lint out and fluff and God knows what out of this thing. Give it a good spruce up. Come on, over you go, over you go. Got to line these holes up. If you don't line your holes up properly, doesn't go back together properly. Looks like it. Line this up. Come on, line up. It's not going to obey what I want it to do. There we go. That looks to be good. That looks to be good. We might be a bit high. Yeah, we can pull that down. That's good there. That's good there. Mickey Mouse, before I put a screw or anything in there, we'll put those back first, which was these two here. Got that central. We'll leave them loose so they can move. We'll just put them all in loose. Do your top ones next. So it's basically just reverse of what you've done. Except for you've put new parts in. That's all it is. That there. It's so when you're putting, why you leave them loose is so when you're actually 
putting your other thing, you don't get it going crooked. Not going, making a new thread or anything like that. Grab those few, get them up here, start from your corner. Get them started, and then we'll go around and whack them down hard. Go to this corner. Because all you're doing is you're squaring it up to line your holes up. Having a magnet helps. You don't lose none. Don't lose no screws. One underneath. Put the run along the bottom. I think it'd be safe enough now. They look to be all lined up pretty good to start notching them down pretty hard. But we'll still go around, put them in slowly, only a couple of threads. Like for me to fix this, other than scrapping it, like I'd only get uh, 24 cents a kilo for these the steel itself, the motor, oh, I'd probably only come out, the whole lot, I'd probably only come out with about five, six bucks. But if I'm fixing it, like the part only cost me about ten, fifteen dollars uh, The cord I had from pulling all these apart. So it, the cord didn't cost me anything. So if I can get triple my amount in money wise, to repair something, other than scrapping it, better for me. All right, we'll go and whack them all in now. Still trying to reach our goal. Been looking at what we're gonna do for the future and stuff like that. We have been thinking about what we're doing and stuff like that, like for housings and the job here, all that sort of thing. They might tell us, oh look, we've had enough of you. Time to go. So they can do that here. I only get time in the afternoon to do anything now. So much work going. I think I'm done, aren't I? Did I do this one? No, I didn't. That's it, eh? Give that for measure. It looks good. Let's stand it up and find out. Plug her in. Plug it in, sonny, son. See if I bucket it, or we're gonna have a sparky wacky. Big bang. I always use the cord for, a, for an anchor. Oh, get rid of the old cord. Recycle that. Plug him in, plug him in, plug him in. Oh, we've already got a pin bent. Mind me. That straightened it out. Oh, we got power. Better move the trolley out the road. I've only got one extra thing. If it were, you know, if this works, I've only got one extra thing to fix on, which is just the door. Ah, uh, power. We'll leave it like that. Hey, 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 yeah! That was all the wrong, was wrong with it. Sweet! Yeah! Hell yes! Bonus! So I've just tripled my money just by doing that. But still got a bit to do to the door. Bit up here. Um, give it a good old clean wash over, things like that. Perfect. Sounds okay to me. 
she heating? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Hell yeah. Well, that's another one for the for everyone else to enjoy, or whoever gets it. Um, so anyway, if you've come this far, everyone, and you like the fixing part of it, I'll tell you what, I'm quite astounded at what I can fix. Um, like I was saying, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you do subscribe, don't forget to hit the notification bell. That way you get notified when we put a new video out. So till next time, everyone, happy fixing, happy scrapping, Happy dumpster diving. I'll put the fixing in there for a special one. So, till next time, everyone. Cheerio.